Welcome back. As we said at the beginning of the show, so many Made in Maine products have Maine written all over them. And such is the case of the Bowie Bat. It's made in Wells by a man they call Bowie Bill. What you guys waiting for? When Bill Page rounds up the kids to take some swings. All right, ready to knock it out of the park? Take him long, that way. You'd better believe he supplies the balls and bat. Oh, His buoy bat, which Bill touts, can make for one very fun and fair family get together. Yeah! <laughs> Finally! The buoy gives you such a large sweet spot, and the ball's face friendly, so it doesn't hurt if it hits you, and it doesn't break windows, so it's a great family game. It's an idea that dates back to 2008 when one day at the beach, Bill picked up an old beat up buoy and used it to whack a tennis ball. <laughs> I can see taking this to the beach. And today, while the premise is the same, it's quite the production to ensure his bats are every bit as sturdy as they are the colorful, iconic main statement, which can have its challenges. Well, the, the biggest roadblock with a lobster buoy is, is that they're made for fishing, not for fashion. But make no mistake, Bill assures, these buoys are authentic. Only instead of ending up bobbing in the bay, these are designed to become bats. I buy actual new lobster buoys from a buoy manufacturer or from a commercial marine gear store, paint them up and turn them into buoy bats. So they're the real thing. They're not something shaped like one. It's just something about buoys. Now, in his fifth year of building these handmade bats from home, Bill says he and his wife can barely keep up with filling the demand from 250 retail stores and all the internet orders. They're magical to people. They see them hanging on you know, sheds and houses, and they, everyone thinks they're cool, and I just happen to luck out and decide to build a product out of one. Built for the backyard or trip to the beach, Bill says what's best about these buoy bats, they're all about promoting fun with a stamp that is distinctively made. It feels good because I know that every time I make one of these, it's going to go to a family or a child or a person who's going to have fun with it, and that is an awesome feeling. And boy, did we have a fun time shooting that. Well, as you've just seen, Maine has a multitude of innovative and creative craftsmen who make so many Made in Maine products all over the state. And if you'd like to see Made in Maine on a more regular basis, join us each Wednesday for WMTW News 8 at 5. Thanks for joining us for Made in Maine.